So it's been a while. I've made a couple of videos, but because of the status of my bike at the time, I wasn't very motivated to put them up. And now it's coming into season. I'm looking into other types of bikes. I wanna <clears throat> update, I guess, to very shortly, because I usually get long-winded. So you can see it's together. I like to go off on a tangent at first. These idiots that think they can implement poll taxes and laws on our rights are insane. Please stand for what is right. This is the U.S. where we have those things in place. Do what you can. Don't just sit there and say, oh, I'm too small to do anything. Because you're not. So anyways. So I wrote down a couple things. I went through the comments. It wasn't very many because I figured a whole 50 people have watched my stuff. So I don't really know. But, uh. And I may have addressed this in another video. Previous video. I apologize for that. But. Uh, I found parts for this because basically the only thing that's different from this to a 790 are some of the electronics, brakes, suspension, and the motor. Outside of that, the frame, subframe, tail section, it's basically all the same. Uh, so I, I got it together uh, back when I wrecked it, got it together had five six hundred miles on it and then <clears throat> fixed it I rode it everything was fine hit about 2600 miles and then the tick a uh, ticking started getting a little bit louder I rode it one day that day and by the end of the ride I was like that doesn't seem right so the next day we're gonna go out for another ride and it was even louder so I'm like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not riding this. So contacted the dealer, got a trailer, took it up there. They took the, the top end of the motor off. I got sticky. Uh, the top end of the motor off. Basically, there was a chunk or chunks of, of the cam missing. So it was eating the cam. So everything was back ordered. It was all luckily still under warranty. They warrantied it, but it did take, it was nine months they had it, uh, ordering the parts. So basically, the entire engine is new. New head, new cases, new pistons, rods, everything. Because of all the shavings and the scarring, scarring, scoring, from all the pieces, you know, flying around in there and whatnot. But... After that, I've since had zero issues with it, and I have, I think, six, just under 7,000 miles on it now. Uh, the only thing, and it's negligible, and I don't know if this is common, I tried to look it up, but right here, through, I think that's the cam gear, to the pulley or something on the inside of there, I'm not exactly sure, but it seeps ever so slightly a little bit of oil you can see the remnant I wipe it down every so often but that's the only thing that I've, I've had issue with after that I have since replaced the rear tire with a PR5 not sure if it was the best cave but I haven't had any slippage or anything like that with with running track mode and all that kind of stuff on it uh, heated grip. So I ordered the original, the ones that with the 790. You know, they had the auxiliary button that strapped it to the bar and everything else, but they weren't the right ones. I was told they were, and I looked it up. It's the same. This takes the same type as the the Super Duke, so it's all integrated in the system. You just got to buy the little heat control units, little thing that's a plug and play thing, as well as the grips. So I returned the ones that I originally bought with the auxiliary button, and that was nine months ago. I returned those and ordered the new ones. 
but because of supply chain issues that are man-made issues but I digress uh, I still don't have them because they, they haven't got it in to be able to build that little HCU is what they call it, the heat control unit some type of precious metal or circuitry or something inside that they're not able to get like they used to but that's that uh, why I didn't go with insurance claim, because this is another comment, uh, is because not only would it raise my rates, yes, I would have had, everything would have been fixed, probably had been totaled out, would have had a brand new one. I didn't want that claim on my insurance. I didn't want it. But, <clears throat> see, all in all, for me, the parts I was able to get to get it to the point it's at now, you know, aside from the engine issue was 500 bucks something like that and I don't know who it was just randomly some dude was parting out a 790 online on eBay and I was able to get a lot of the plastic pieces for that so that's I'm glad of that someone made a comment about a Utah accent I am in Utah but I am not from here I do not claim to be from here but anyways but so uh, things that I have done since then you know the the motor the new motor and even the the screen that had to be replaced and they gave me a parts cost of that and roughly it was about eight grand which I thought was a bit ridiculous just the cases alone were 2700 bucks like I said all under warranty haven't had any issue I just recently noticed this bolt fell out I pulled the spacer out I forgot where I put it but I might have to get a new bolt there um, I have since put the Evotech sliders on it the Woodcla Woodcraft water pump slider got the case one on this side I have the axle sliders on it. The Mantis stickers you probably see. Because it's nicknamed. This is Mantis. Because of the, the light. Uh, I've also. I was going to get the full system. Uh, but I wasn't able to. As most of last year I was laid off. Because of issues. And I almost lost my bike. I almost lost my car bunch of just garbage I don't really want to get into uh, so I got the aero decap has a little resonator in there and it was I mean it's still pretty it's a pretty piece it's quality piece perfectly golden when it, when it heated up everything I haven't started I just pulled it out of the storage just to do this but that's that's really the only things oh I've done I put a booster plug in there uh, they started making them for this they had them for the I know they knew they made them for the triumphs like the street twin speed twin that kind of stuff but I didn't know they made them for all kinds of bikes and they came out with one for this so I have that on there because I added the, I also have a K&N filter on it. And uh, the major difference with the booster plug, as many have said, and if you've watched videos or heard about it, is the snatchiness is almost gone. And also, I mean, any anything is gonna lug in a high gear at low speed, car, doesn't matter. But there's less of that. It's a lot smoother, it pulls. A lot harder up top because you know the added fuel that's in there which is which is pretty awesome and it makes it a little bit easier to ride a little bit friendlier uh, I don't know if I had my horn on at the time I have my Denali sound bomb hooked up right here there's not really a way to prevent it from touching the, the edge right here on the radiator I'm back here I tried to get it super tight but to where it is I can't get the zip ties any tighter I wrapped 
the frame at the with some electro tape making it softer so it'd be more grippy so for now that's that's the way it's gonna be um, I mean I still like the bike the the only other th major thing I think I might end up doing is this year depending on what happens because I am looking at I'm not looking at getting rid of this but I am looking at smaller displacement type bikes some are in the KTM range most I think all of them are the ones I'm looking at uh, but I don't know we'll, we'll see when we get there uh, later this year I hopefully will be able to get the aero I forgot what model it's the bigger one the aero and can um, it's not the pro race I can't remember the model name of it but that's what I plan on getting uh, a friend of mine in my riding group uh, white lettered his tires or the le the brand letters and I thought it looked pretty nice neat so I did mine despite though they're dirty and everything it'll be they'll go away once I replace them and uh, I I've looked into I've looked into going down or gearing it up slightly I don't know if I haven't done enough research to really know what is better but I'm either gonna go down one or two teeth in the rear or up a tooth in the front I haven't decided just I just want to mellow out the low end just ever so slightly that's all I want I don't need it any faster I don't need it any quicker anything like that it's plenty quick uh, I'll start it up in a minute with the stock can with the decat one time I was I was pulling out bike was warmed up tires weren't it was probably 50 ish 55 60 degrees something like that outside uh, so I had it in track mode because it it remembered it so it stayed in it I didn't think nothing of it I'm pulling out there's no traffic to my left no traffic to my right it wasn't being aggressive nothing like that nothing it wasn't pulling out hard didn't lean into it and I think it was just just the happenstance at the time but it slid out from under me and that was before I put all these sliders on right after that happened I put all the sliders on so this these are KTM branded uh, spools so the threads only go in probably a quarter inch or so three-eighths of an inch something like that so when I hit when I went down as you can see the damage on the kickstand there is a little bit of scrapage on the case but it's behind there there's no holes or anything and then uh, my bar end mirror it marred up and it broke the tip off my off my clutch lever outside of that it didn't do anything but because the threads were so short or so shallow inside the swing arm it broke you can see that chunk missing it broke that and stripped out where the threads were Luckily, hardware store, you can see the skin. It only slid a foot or two. I, like I said, I wasn't going very fast. And I went to the hardware store, and they had the same bolts that were, I don't know what the, they were domed. Not domed. I don't know what the word is. Angled. Anyways. Uh, and they were longer, same thread. That's why they're the dark ones versus the same color as the uh, same uh, silver so they sat in because there's m there's threads almost all the way to the inside of the swing arm so I had to do that because I wasn't able to use these and now that I can because it's in deep enough there's no problem with the threading or using my bike stand or anything like that so yeah I'm I'm pretty stoked it only did that and I was able to find a simple solution. Uh, you can see decat. It's pretty it's a it's a nice piece. Everything's dirty. I don't find that. But I got the low seat, I think that's been covered. Let's see you know, the damage here still from the stock can from my original wreck. And I also do because like I said, I, I didn't think many people would watch this because I don't have a following. I don't do very many. 
but I appreciate those that, you know, wished me okay. Uh, I still feel it. My manubrium is what fractured. But hopefully one day I'll get some some surgery done. They'll be able to, to shave it down because it feels like it pushes it up against my throat at certain times or if I'm laying on my side or something like that. So look at the miles here and then I'll start it up. side go down there 6700 and right now it's 44 degrees it's a few degrees warmer in my in my unit but nope Not once had any issue with the power cup tires. I wore the rear one out. Which, uh, I think I got just under 4,000, like 3,600 miles out of it. And then I put this one on it. Uh, the one thing I would say, I apologize, given getting loud. I don't, I don't know how loud I am compared to the bike in this recording, but. Because it is the Road 5, it is a harder compound. It does slide a lot more, if it's, especially if it's not up to temperature, but in cooler weather, it does, it does fine, absolutely fine. I have not had one issue, lack of confidence, anything with that tire. And I've run, I've had the power, uh, the Road 3s, I'm not sure on the road fours. I don't think I had those. I had the Scorpion ETs, or the I'm sorry, the STs. Those are a good tire. I had good luck with those also. Uh, they, they are doing a special on them. I don't know if it's a special, but they are clearance priced on Amazon. I'm not really a fan of Amazon anymore, but it is easy to get a lot of stuff. apologize for the length of this those that can watch it appreciate it I, I meant this to only be like a seven or eight minute video like I said I get long-winded uh, the I will say in my own opinion the the stock can is a tiny bit raspy with the decap but I ride with earplugs for me for me it sounds awesome I love the 270 parallel twin bikes you know like the the MTO7, the KTM parallel twins, anything with a 180 degree crank, I I can't do it. It sounds so awful. And for me, a lot of the riding experience is sound. But like I said, I appreciate all everybody's thoughts going out when when I was recovering, and it's been a year. Apologize for that, but I'm looking to get this stuff more often out more often better equipment so that you know people enjoy watching this stuff because i don't know how much i enjoy just people just talking looking at an item you know it's hard for me to do but i appreciate your patience through that 
and everyone have a good day and a better year than last year do what you can to make a difference and we will all benefit from it have a good day